Welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go up round five when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes peach martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. When you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again today. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear. He is so strong, he's so physical, and the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. I can't hold me down, but it's Just okay, sure. it's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31. Adesanya is six inches taller. He will have a 10-inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaPain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC! Heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler. Holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomedov! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the fight capital of the world respect to anywhere else you want to go. If I'm a fighter, if I'm an athlete in combat sports, this is where I want to compete. You want to fight in Vegas, and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Good takedown defense by Israel. Oh, elbow to the head right out of the clinch. Good work there by Adesanya. Oh! Oh, straight right! Finish 
finish this fight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Big kick lands. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all wins. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're in the constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. All 25 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well done. Oh, there it is. Dump City catches the kick and promptly counters with that takedown. Great time, great recognition of seeing the kick coming and turning it into your offense. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's attacking arm bar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. This might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. the position, fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away, to try to escape this very, very deep position. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Gotta be careful, Armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. Oh, let's 
take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he